the Peanuts fans. I'm Karen from CollectPeanuts.com. Today we're going to open three boxes of stuff I've bought over the last month and see what I got and hope it's as good as I saw on the internet. So stick around and you won't believe what's in box three. <laughs> oh, and be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot. Let's get started. All right, we're starting with this one because uh, it's making a lot of broken sounding noises. I'm hoping it's not broken. Wish me luck. Oh dear. Oh dear. What is this gonna be? Oh dear. Oh no. All right, well, we've got an Easter Beagle Snoopy here. We've got this little cutie here. We have to do some research, find out if this is his actual hat. Kind of a nerdy looking Snoopy. This looks like it's applause. We have a, a Snoopy planter here from FTD. Was that the name of it? We'll see how good that condition is later on my own. Sometimes the, the hats on these, uh, the leather vinyl is coming apart. I mean, so far it looks okay. We've got a basic checks bank here. We've got a Snoopy that says, I need a hug today. Um, after I look in these two other boxes, I might need a, a hug. I'm so worried. Well, this, this guy's all right. Pretty sure. All right, we've got Joe Banker here. I think this is one of the reasons I bought this lot. It is from, I believe, the 90s. It says applause on the back. It's still got the stopper, which is fantastic. It's still white. I know the one I had in my collection is really yellowed. So that's... One of the reasons I bought this, we locked out. <laughs> it's not ceramic. I don't know what was um, rattling around in that box, but thankfully it's nothing I bought. <laughs> so again, the one I have of this uh, Woodstock nest egg bank is really yellowed. So I was hoping to get, you know, a nice one. Um, it makes a great photo for the website. So, and this one has a stopper too. This is also by Applause. So, <laughs> uh, where's that Snoopy that needs a hug? <laughs> I want to know if this is his real hat. Like, there's there's a little bit of glue on his Applause butt tag there. So, you know, he could have been, um, I don't want to say tampered with but modified um if you know if this is his original hat please let me know i i believe this is his original shirt like making tiny shirts is difficult so and uh yeah so more to find out that i mean if if this isn't his hat it's of perfect size it needs a bit of cleaning and just to let you know, these other two plushes are also applause. All right, box number two. Uh, this one shouldn't be heartbreaking. <laughs> Look at this. I believe this is a twin bedspread. See what the tag says. Nobody ripped it off. Resin treated 100% polyester fibers. Made by Victory Curtain Company, Fall River, Massachusetts. Kind of smells like grandma's house. Mom, grandma, not, not dad, grandma. <laughs> Is my face turning red now? Uh, it's got a little bit of wear here on the back. You can see, hopefully, 
There's some splits in this polyester net. But it's not going to be used regularly, so it's not a big deal. Oh my goodness, this thing is huge. Yeah, this is definitely for a twin. This seam here, there's a seam here, and there's a seam here, and that is about the width of the top of a twin bed. So this would, this would hang down over the side, and you have this nice little ruffle here. What have you got on here? You've got Snoopy, you've got Belle. I think I'm going to be giving this one to my mom to try and get the, these pink stains out. But I think we all know that pink stains are the worst. I wonder what they are. Can I smell it? No, it just smells like grandma's house. I mean, at least it, I'm going to say uh, the grandma house smell is like the freshly laundered, perfumey, like, like it's nice, but it's kind of like sickly fresh? I don't know. You probably know exactly what I mean. And now we're moving on to the big one. That's kind of thin, but I think this is going to be some good stuff in here, hopefully. How do we get it open? All right, well, we've got a giant Lucy. And a giant Charlie Brown. This is Charlie Brown, he's not in the greatest shape. Looks like his head has been chewed on. He's got quite a stain there. Ooh, he's uh, seen some rough times. But believe it or not, I already have him in my sh in my collection. So I will be sh selling this in my shop. I'm not exactly sure what this is or where it's from. Does this give me more information? Now that I have one that's a little bit tatty and you can I don't want to say destroy it um, I want to say this is probably from the 80s or 90s the the edges of Charlie Brown look pixelated so it's sometime when computer artwork would have been used probably uh, we've got this slat in the bottom I don't know if that would have been used for like putting some sort of stand there but at the same time there is like a little hangy pinhole at the top here so it it's probably either promotional or like a big greeting card or something i don't know but we also have a snoopy version here this is terrible i do not have this one i wish this oh wish this was better condition. Oh my god, it's terrible. Again, it kind of looks like it might have been chewed on or something. I don't, I don't, uh, I kind of, I kind of don't want them <laughs> touching anything else. That's not the main reason I bought this lot of, I don't know what this is gonna be. I don't know. We've got Snoopy and Linus here. This is an interesting piece. This is obviously an older piece. Um, based on like what the paper is and the printing and the, the age of the character drawings. Um, I'm guessing this is probably either early 70s or 60s and probably Hallmark. There's a few pieces of tape on the back. Maybe it's double sticked. Uh, and it also looks like it's been cut, like with a scissor. This, this I know is Hallmark. It says Hallmark cards on it. And this, these were part of a display from Hallmark. I've, I've got one of these in the original, like, box from Hallmark. Like, it had never been put up. So, like, these would have been hanging from the ceiling in the store. This is like a store piece. So, it looks like we've got 
Lucy as well. Oh, we've got the Franklin, which is nice. All right, we've got some of the pieces. Maybe we'll find more. There was, there was like basically all the characters. got a Linus here and this again it looks like it's probably Hallmark it's the right age like oh this actually says, oh, it says 1952 that is a character copyright 1952 is the one Linus was copyrighted definitely got some age to it but obviously torn off Okay, this this next piece was one thing that I saw that I was like, what is this? It's definitely cardboard. Um, got Snoopy, the flying ace, and this actually looks like, again, somebody cut it out with a scissor. So if you know what this is from, Please let me know. I do I do like finding mysteries and solving them. So this is definitely a mystery to be solved. And look, here's Snoopy, the word Snoopy with Woodstock. Very interesting. I don't I don't know what it is. Oh we've got more of we've got more of that Hallmark display. <laughs> Peppermint Patty, Sally, we got Snoopy. All right. Oh man. <laughs> when you know what something is and you see it's kind of been destroyed. It, it's like, it, it's like somebody took, uh, you know, that painting, The Last Supper, the Mona Lisa, and they were like, well, you know, I really only like the figure of Mona Lisa, so I'm just, I'm just gonna, like, cut that bit out. I don't, I don't need the rest of this painting. Anyway, here we go. We've got Snoopy and Woodstock, and it says cheap there. This would have been part of, like, a store display. And based on the paper, that's what this also was. Uh, these were probably from interstate brands, so uh, like your Dolly Madison and your... <laughs> I can't think of the names of the breads. Like Mrs. Carl's and... <laughs> I can't think of them. Like they're not breads from my childhood, so like it's, it's sometimes hard to come up with all these names of different breads. Uh, Weber's bread suddenly popped into my mind. Um, yeah, there's an article on collectpeanuts.com about interstate brands where you can learn more about this. Here we've got part of this. So this says fruit pies. So this is definitely a Dolly Madison display. Cinnamon rolls. Look at that. Wow. Now, an interesting thing to note here. So they would have printed like the, the yellow and the black on these cards. And then this red, um, I don't know if it's paint or some sort of transfer, but it's definitely not like a printed ink. 
and that's why we have fruit pies and cinnamon rolls. So that's that's a little interesting piece of history, and that's what I was hoping to get from this, and I hope there's more to this than just these two. Oh, that's, that's, it's an interesting tidbit, but, you know, fingers crossed. I'm wondering, uh, this, I bet you this is not Hallmark. This is the same sort of paper as this, I bet. Mm. <laughs> oh, there, there's more in here. Fingers crossed, guys. We have Linus. Again, this is from the 1979 Hallmark display. Maybe this is the jackpot. Oh, we're going to pull these two out first. Oh! Oh, guys, we've got a winner. We've got a winner. We've got a winner. I can save it. We can save it. It's a little worse for wear on the bottom here, but... Um, I'm just happy to have this little piece of history. Put this over here with our other fruit pies. And there's another cinnamon rolls. So this is great. I'm probably going to let this one go to another collector since I already have the cinnamon rolls. But I'm probably going to keep the cinnamon rolls and the fruit pies because it's just interesting to see. Oh, this is the jackpot here. Uh, so here we've got a Hallmark bag. These are actually surprisingly easy for me to find. Um, you do see them online once in a while. So if you bought your, your greeting cards, they would have slipped into a bag just like this. And again, this is probably the same as like the cinnamon rolls and the fruit, fruit pies poster. Or they would have printed up a ton of these bags and then uh, they would have either sent them to the store or done some some custom printing just to do this part here. So that's why you'll see these bags from lots of different places. Guys, I'm so happy to see this. Prize blasters! <laughs> Are there two? No, they're... Oh. Look at that. It's like double-sided. So you could like put it over something and then you could see it from both sides or whatever. I did it. I didn't know that was a thing. didn't know. We're witnessing a little piece of history. Does that mean, oh, they all do that. Um, I was in an antique store and I, I found, I think this one, um, and one other. I think they were bigger though. And I didn't know what they are. They don't say what they are. I'm guessing they're interstate brands because I don't know why else you know, the Peanuts gang would be advertising fruit pies and cinnamon rolls. So the, I'm just guessing. If anybody knows more about these, please let me know. Rice kickers. Oh, and they're, they're in fantastic shape. I mean, they're a little, they're a little dirty, but um, this is just like surface dirt that you can wipe off. Otherwise, they look beautiful. We oh. Uh. I think I know where this one <laughs> used to be. Is it, does that work? Does that work? Not, not quite. That does not work. But yeah, that's, that's where this came from. They might have cut it some more. Got all these piles here. Oh, yes. We've got another Revolutionary War themed one. Now, 
my guess would be because of the theme of this this is probably from 1976 or thereabouts you know maybe 75 or you know uh because in 76 it was the bicentennial so there was a lot more uh looking back at the revolutionary war and stuff like that which led to a lot more theming of you know these sort of historical cartoon reenactments <laughs> whatever you want to call them Is it on? Guys, it's complete. It's complete. Ah. <laughs> wow. We've got, we've got holiday helpers. Now, there are a bunch of repeats in here. So if there is something that you really really want for your collection please reach out i kind of get first dibs but other than that um oh oh man i don't think we've seen that one in a full thing yet Got another holiday helpers, another price blasters. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, we got a full price smashers. <sighs> oh, and then a couple more holiday helpers. What I like about the holiday helpers is it doesn't scream like this is just a grocery store advertising scheme so that's that's kind of nice you could put you could put that up and people will be like oh that's it's a little weird but it's thematic and it doesn't say price blaster <laughs> finally we have lucy she's a little bit better and then charlie brown her neck is a bit oh, not great Again, uh, she will be for sale in the shop. Probably just pair her up with Charlie Brown and sell them as one lot. Or if you want to make me an offer, uh, that would be terrific. Because I have no idea how much to ask. They're in terrible condition, but you never see them. Uh, just want to find them a good home for a reasonable price. Try and make a little bit of my money back on this lot. I don't remember how much I even paid. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and might as well hit subscribe while you're down there. You can get more beautiful things from peanuts of yesteryear. Random stuff that I don't know where it's from. <laughs> but there's also a lot of stuff that I do know where it's from. And if you want to help me in my quest of finding interesting peanuts items from the past, do join us on patreon.com. Uh, it's pretty cheap to support us. And also join us on collectpeanuts.com where you can see my collection. You can buy stuff for your own Snoopy room or Snoopy shelf, however big your collection is. Uh, yeah. Come join us. Happy collecting, everyone. Bye. You know, my theory about this is, like, this. these were in somebody's bedroom, you know? They just had these hanging on the wall. And, and you know kids, they're not going to hold things like super precious. Um, but at the same time, like, I don't know, it doesn't, it probably wouldn't have seemed like a super precious thing to keep nice. What, what, what is this Snoopy from? I think this is the biggest mystery. I mean, Price Blaster seems pretty straightforward. Got a decent guess, but this, what is this from? 
It's a big box. And there's a wood stock. So we got we got kind of an age. What are we thinking? Late 70s, 80s, sometime. Hmm. And I think I think they blackened the edges with like a sharpie, maybe. Somebody spent a lot of time on these. And if you're out there, let me know. I want to know what these are. All right. Happy collecting. Goodbye again.